Hey everybody, it's YGO Paladin, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a reaction to the new cards that were just revealed to us that's going to be in a upcoming set that's coming out in the OCG. Not actually a set, but it's a product that heavily focuses on the protagonists of each series. They're going to give them one monster. We already did get three reveals. That was for the uh, Dark Magician Red Eyes fusion, the Neos Wiseman fusion, which I don't get why. And then we also had the Stardust slash TG monster Synchro. And, uh... Now, we are actually just getting uh, the reveals for the Zexel, Arc, Arc 5, and then uh, Brains. So, I just figured I'm going to go ahead and react to these cards. I have not read them, but I did post them on my Instagram. If you guys are not following my Instagram, please follow it. <laughs> no, but if you guys want to be up to date with news like this, uh, be sure to head over to my Instagram and give a follow where you guys will receive the news a lot faster than you will on my YouTube channel. And that's... Uh, Pretty much what it is it's all it's all for ocg tcg news even some anime news as well uh but it's like everything Yu-Gi-Oh. so if you guys want to give that follow and be up to date with current cards that are coming out or have just been announced uh be sure to give that page a follow and tonight uh we are supposed to be i believe we are supposed to be getting the uh ocg like reveal uh youtube video that's going to have the remaining uh link frame pack three uh showcasing the what's left of them i think we still got nine more monsters so i think they're going to reveal the last archetypes that are going to be in there which i believe is going to be tonight i want to say it's tonight uh i'll look it up just to be completely sure but i believe it's going to be tonight uh technically it's like thursday morning at three in the at three in the morning so with that let's get straight into these cards i'm very excited to see what they do i did see the pictures of them so i know what they are and i'm actually very excited to see what these cards are going to do so Without further ado, let's get right into it. The first card we're going to start off with is going for the Zexel uh, Ace card. And that is a brand new Utopic monster. Apparently, it's a number F0 Utopic Future Dragon. That is a mouthful. It is a rank 0 Light Warrior Xyz effect monster. 3,000 attack and 2,000 defense. A lot better than 0. Its uh, requirements are 3 XC monsters with the same rank except number monsters. This card is always treated as a rank 1. You can also XC summon this card by using one number F0 Utopic Future you control as XC materials transfer its units to this card. First effect, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So very good protection, that's actually pretty good. Second effect, once per turn, when an opponent's monster's effect is activated, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, negate the activation, and if you negate the effect of a monster that was on the field, gain control of that monster? Yo, that's actually good. That's really good. And we actually did get more Onomatopoeia support in the uh, Legendary uh, Duelist Pack 6. I like this. Yo, I'm actually getting some nostalgia to actually build like a Topic Future Onomato deck. You know, something like that. I like this. Unfortunately, I don't know when we're going to get it. <laughs> so that's the problem. But I like this card. This card gets, yeah, this card definitely gives a thumbs up from me. I love this card. I know that's actually like... I just read it, but it has, like, prevention from being destroyed by battle or card effect and negating the effects of a monster and then taking control of it if it was on the field. Yeah, I'm on board with that. So that definitely gets a pass. That definitely gets a thumbs up for me and uh, approval. <laughs> so moving on to the next card, we're going on to the Arc 5 era. And this is Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overload. Man, long names. It is a rank 7 Dark Dragon Xyz Pendulum Effect Monster, 3000 attack, 2500 defense. Its Pendulum Scale is 4, and its Pendulum Effect reads, Once per turn, you can Special Summon this card from your Pendulum Zone, and if you do Special Summon 1 Rebellion or the Phantom Knights Xyz from your extra deck, using this card as material, this is treated as an Xyz Summon, then you can attach one card in your Pendulum Zone to it as material? That's not... Mmm... That's interesting, actually. Um, okay, so let me, let me read the other effects before I do my uh, full conclusion with this. Uh, monster effect requires two level 7 monsters, so generic. That's cool. You, you can only special summon Odd Eyes, Rebellion, Dragon, Overloads once per turn. You can also XC summon this card by using one Rebellion XC monster you control as material. So I believe Odd Eyes, Rebellion, Dragon, just a regular one, right? Or, oh, Rebellion, XC's Rebellion, Dragon, too. Transfer its, transfer its materials to this card. If this card is Pendulum Summon, oh, if you can Pendulum Summon level 7, you can Pendulum Summon this card face up from your extra deck. Uh, first effect, if this card, sorry, if this card that was XC Summon using a rank 7 XC's monster as material can make up to 3 attacks during each battle phase. Wait, if this card was XC Summon using a rank 7 XC's monster as material, 
it can make up to three attacks during each battle phase. That's actually pretty not, not bad. Not bad. Second fact that if this card in the monster zone is destroyed, you can place it in your pendulum zone. Okay, so this card is uh, okay. Um, I don't know how effective it's going to be in Odd Eyes, but then it also has the Phantom Knight. And I think that's just because in the anime, Yuya and uh, what's his name? Uh, ooh, I actually forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I forgot his name, but the one who used the Phantom Knights. Yuto? Is it, was it Yuto? I, I could be completely wrong here. It's been a while since I watched Arc 5. But those two actually had some combinations of like combining their cards. So I could see what they were going for. And again, this is more of like the anime base slash protagonist. So makes sense that they want to do that. Um, it's not terrible. I think this card's okay. I don't know how effective it's going to be. Especially you have to get this card out. So two level sims. I don't think this is going to be in regular pendulum decks. But uh, who knows? I could be wrong. Um, so overall this card's okay uh it gets a thumbs up but uh again i'm still not keen on what it's going to be used for or if it's going to be used at all uh so yeah we'll just have to wait and see if this card comes out and if it has any kind of impact in any of the decks it's supposed to be for rebellion and if Phantom knights can find a way to use this i mean that'd be cool but let's let's face it they need two level seven so i don't think that's gonna happen okay so moving on to the final card it is from the brains era and it is Deco Talker Heat Soul. It's another Deco Talker. I didn't even I didn't even know that. I didn't realize that. Okay, so it is a Link Three Fire Cybers Link Effect Monster. Yeah, Fire. I thought it was a Salamander. Great. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was. It it's a Link Markers are are basically Deco Talkers. Bottom left, bottom right, and top. And it requires two Cybers monsters with different attributes. Two or more Cybers monsters with different attributes. So yeah, they all have different attributes. Okay. You can only use this card's name second effect once per turn. First effect gains 500 attack for each monster it points to. Okay, so it's the decode effect. Second effect, quick effect. You can pay 1,000 life points, draw one card. Then if your life points is 2,000 or less, apply this effect. Banish this card on the field. And if you do, special summon one link three or lower cybers monster from your extra deck except itself. Hmm. That is interesting. Paying your life point, paying one thousand life points, you get a free draw, and then if your life points are two thousand or less, you banish it to get another one. I think that's actually not that bad. I like that. I like that a lot, and, and it is a quick effect. So it's like you could draw one card on your turn, and then pay another thousand on your opponent's turn, draw another card. If I'm reading this correctly, let me just be sure. But yeah, it is looking like that, and I like the little. It kind of seems like it, it has that whole to. I wonder if you can banish, you can do this whole, if your opponent is going to try to destroy your monster, can you chain this effect and hope that if your life points are less than 2,000, you can uh, banish it and then special summon that monster and like prevent it from being like taken, destroyed or whatever? Or does it have to be on the field to resolve that whole situation? I'm pretty sure it has, it, it has to uh, follow the rest of the effect. So I'm pretty sure it can uh, out a target or a destruction or something like that. So overall, I like this card and I love that artwork. That artwork is actually really nice. It's Decode Talker on fire. Like, that is awesome. So, yeah, that was it for the reaction for these cards. Overall, I like them. I did like the uh, Utopia card a little bit more just because we're getting a whole archetype of it now with the help of Legendary uh, Duelist Pack 6. So, that one gets more of my attention. Whereas the Odd Eyes one, you still need to uh, XC some of them into two level sevens. The Decode, though, I do like that. So, that one I'm actually probably going to be interested in still as well because it's Decode on Fire. I thought that was that was badass art right there. So, yeah, those two cards mostly I like. The Odd Eyes, not as much, but I do like the artwork. So, overall, uh, really cool. I don't know when we're going to get these cards, but hopefully it is soon. Or if anything, hopefully it would be in an, another like dual power box set or something like that. Because I believe Konami has done this in the OCG where some where they get a product like this it's a box that has cards in there that were pertain basically they were for the brains era characters and we didn't get a lot of those cards but we did get some imported into dual power and that was actually pretty cool although they did come a little bit later so they weren't as impactful and i think we are still missing a few cards from that set i could be wrong but i feel that we don't have all the cards from what that box set was originally i think it was just called like link brains box set or something like that but uh yeah overall i like them hopefully we get those soon mainly i'm interested in that utopic future card and that is another utopic future so that's actually really cool as well because i think we do have another utopic future but i think it's still in the ocg so we still only have the f-zero utopic future 
and that is it. So with that, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know down in the comment section below what you think of these cards and which one you're more excited about. For me, it's the Utopic card. And I would love to build a Onomatopoeia deck slash Utopia deck when this card comes out. And hopefully before, but we still need another Utopic Future card. Uh, so hopefully this one comes out before that other one comes out. That was like forever ago. So with that, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit the like button if you did. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Oh, and I'm, I'm so sorry. Actually, I completely forgot about that uh, uh, YouTube video. Uh, the one I told you about the Leak Brains one. I want to confirm that it is going to be either tonight or is it going to be tomorrow night? Uh, technically in the morning. But I just want to be absolutely sure before I sign off on this video. So I do apologize, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but, okay. Uh, it is... What time is it? Because I do... Oh, shoot. No, it doesn't have one here. Shoot. I set a reminder and everything, too. Uh, oh, okay. It's, it's scheduled for November 15th at 3 a.m. Yeah, so... Yeah, so that's going to be technically Friday morning. So my apologies. That is going to be Friday morning. It's going to be live at 30 hours. <laughs> So, no, it's not tonight. It's going to be Friday morning. So, it actually does give me time to do another video that I think I was thinking about doing for, uh, before that video was up. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that video, which I probably won't be going to be posting until the morning, uh, about what the Link Monsters are going to be. So, without making this video long, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.